welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's the end of November. Where the heck did November go? I can't believe that is the end of November already. Now December is starting and it's gonna be Christmas and my birthday and I just, it's, it's just insane. Like I just cannot believe it. Time has just flown by, like flown by. I can't believe 2015 is almost done. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my November favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time. But there are a few products that I've been loving over the course of this little while that I wanted to share with you guys. They're mainly skincare products. There's not that much makeup, but the reason that most of it is skincare and like hydration things is just because the weather, especially here in Toronto, has just been super cold and super drying. So I'm sure a lot of you who are in this winter season as well can relate to this and kind of feel like you're reaching more for more hydrating things and that's why I wanted to share you some of my favorites so that you could go out and get them if you wanted to for the rest of the winter because winter is basically gonna last like until forever it feels like ah. let's get right into it so the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is this cream that I hauled a while ago from Lush this is the handy guru goo I hope I'm saying that right and this is just a hand cream it's made with rich butters and oils for a basically hard-working hand so the smell of this, I love the smell first of all. It's very clean. It's, it has like a scent. It smells more like an avocado or something, like something green, but it has a really nice scent, like nothing too perfumey. The great thing about this cream, it's extremely thick. And I love putting this on, especially at night. I'll take like a big just blob of it and I'll spread it all over my hands on my wrists and I will just work this into my skin like really really well and when I go to sleep I find that when I wake up in the morning my hands are super moisturized and they even do say that where you can use this as like a night mask for your hands so you just take a big gulp of it like I said and then you just put it all over your hands and it leaves your fingers and your hands first of all smelling so good and just so beautiful and not like crackly and dry and it's so important like hand cream during this season is just a must and you need something like this it's really rich something that's really going to penetrate into your skin and it's great when you have something this thick because you can use it in the night and then when you wake up your skin is moisturized and you don't have to worry about it so this is a definitely must have for the winter months when everything is just dry and disgusting on the topic of moisture I wanted to talk to you guys about this product that I did only pick up and I've only had for this month but guys I have been loving it so much I had to include it in my haul because the moment I tried it I was just like I was hooked I was just like is it possible to marry a makeup or skincare product because I would do that with this product honestly hands down for sure so this is the moisture therapy lip balm this is in the scent shea butter but I also do have the scent black tea I love them both the consistency of this lip balm is just amazing it's not thin at all it's extremely thick extremely moisturizing extremely luxurious that's what I feel like when I put this on it's so luxurious so like it's just the consistency of a lip balm that I've never honestly experienced before and I know that's so weird because it's why am I talking this way about a lip balm but I feel like once you try it you really do see the difference between this and other lip balms and the great thing about this which I talked about in my Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul video was the fact that it has SPF so super important even in the winter months the sun still comes out so you still need to properly protect your skin and you need that F SPF so honestly please guys go try this out let me know how you like it because this is a must-have for me the next products that I wanted to talk to you about are hydration mist so the first one is this one from Urban Decay this is the do me Urban Decay makeup setting spray and the reason I love this one is I always set my makeup with a setting spray once I'm finished my makeup but this one is extremely been something I've been reaching to because of the fact that it leaves a dewy consistency consistency on your skin. So a lot of times when I'm doing my makeup, I'll either start with this where I spray this all over my skin before I put on my makeup. And then after I'm done my makeup, I'll kind of end with this to kind of seal in my makeup and add that dewy, beautiful glow to my skin. It works wonders. And I honestly see such a difference from when I don't use it to when I do use it. It is a must, must, must for me, my winter skincare makeup routine. So I do have a video where I show you guys how I use this for my foundation routine in the winter. I'll link that on the screen and I'll also link that in the description box below if you guys were interested in seeing how I use this on an everyday basis. Speaking of hydration mist, this is the Cara Mense Moisture Hydrate. It has no preservatives and it's fragrance free. This is just a facial moisturizer and basically what it is, it's just water. And you can get this from a lot of different brands. A lot of different brands are starting this now where they're coming out with facial sprays, whether it be primer sprays or setting sprays, but they're all like moisturizing and really hydrating. I know Evian has a really good one too, and it comes in like a smaller size so you can take it like on the plane and it's travel friendly. Like I mentioned before with the Doom 
me spray I'll go back either sometimes with this as well and I'll spray it on before my makeup just to add that extra hydration even throughout the day this is something that I leave I have one at work and as you can see this one's almost done I have one at home and sometimes throughout the day you just get really dry and I just spray a bit on my face and I kind of let it just work into my skin it is a great pick-me-up for your skin because let me tell you my skin gets extremely dry I have normal skin but I see such a difference on how I apply my makeup if my skin is dry rather than if it's just you know really nicely hydrated so that's the one thing that you want to remember about makeup in the winter time is that it does not matter how much makeup you put on if your skin isn't properly moisturized the makeup is not going to look as good it will not look flawless you need to take care of your skin especially during the winter time just to get that really nice beautiful canvas going back to an oldie but a goodie I haven't talked about or even used this product in a really long time and recently I was going through my makeup and I saw this again and I started using it I think I've been using it in every tutorial since I started using it again this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW35 so I have two colors NW35 is like my highlight concealer shade and NW40 is like my summer highlight concealer shade so right now I'm back to NW35 because my skin is more pale because of the winter months guys I just love this concealer honestly it's so thick and so beautiful I feel like it does such a great job of really covering the darkness so as you guys know I do color correct my skin and lately I find that I don't need to color correct my skin when I use this concealer especially because the Sun is not on my skin so much so the darkness that I have in certain areas isn't really highlighted so I can just go in with a foundation now and a really good concealer and for me it's the Mac Pro Longwear concealer so I'm sure a lot of you have tried this concealer it's extremely popular but honestly like I started using it again and I just kept thinking why did I stop using this I just love this concealer so this is really weird because I don't know the name of this next product but I am gonna find it and link it in the description box down below but this was in my NARS Guy Bourdain blush palette and once again this is a product that I've had for a really long time I've used before I kind of stopped using and then I started using again and I'm like why the heck did I stop using it so it's this blush right here and I'm gonna link the name down below and also on the screen for you guys to see but guys let me just take a swatch of it like it is the most beautiful pink color one of the things that I love the most about it is the fact that it has like a little hint of shimmer but it's not shimmer that is like why is that girl wearing glitter on her face it is the most beautiful highlight shimmer like something you would put on the tops of your cheekbones but instead you're using it as a blush I do not like blushes with shimmer like I do not so the fact that I like this blush just shows how well they incorporated like this beautiful sheen to it but it's still able to get this really beautiful color and not make you look like you're a disco ball so I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks right now I have a whole makeup tutorial for this look so if you want to see it I'll link it in the description box down below and on the screen but honestly guys I've just re fallen in love with this blush please do yourself a flavor and try it out like it is so 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 good and it goes with so many looks like that's the one thing I like about this blush I can use it for when I'm doing a dramatic eye makeup look and I also use it when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look so that's how universal this blush is so 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 good so speaking about that blush I want to talk about this brush that I have been using non-stop and I use it for bronzer and blush and I've been using it literally for about two months now non-stop and I haven't used anything else and even when I go in with like another contour brush I'll always go back in with this brush this is mint brush number 46 and to be honest it reminds me a lot of MAC 135 brush um, it's the white bristle brush that MAC has and this brush is just so beautiful it's so easy to get in when you are doing your contour but what I love about it is that it's a universal brush for your face basically and I love using it for bronzing and I will also use it for blush in the same makeup application like I love using this one brush for both because I feel like it blends the colors so beautifully it just gives you this really nice look and I've used it like obviously today on my makeup and it's just like beautiful like it just gives you this well-rounded blended look all with one brush you don't need to have multiple brushes and it applies the product so beautifully the shape of the brush just gets right in underneath the cheekbones and then you can smile a bit and use the fatter side of the brush to apply your blush and then blend everything together like honestly one of my favorite brushes this is I used to use this brush all the time and once again this is something I had to go back to like I just loved it and the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about for my favorite was just 
basically an oil and so I'm going to show you guys the almond oil because this is the one I've been using this is the one from now solutions but honestly guys you can use any oil you can use a coconut oil an olive oil an almond oil an avocado oil whatever oil but the reason why it is so important for me to include this in my favorites video for this month because oils are going to be your lifesaver for the winter months honestly hands down you need an oil to get through the winter months even if you have oily skin it does not matter I know a lot of people feel like oh I oily skin I can't use an oil that's not necessarily true sometimes your skin is producing more oil because you don't have enough so when you apply oil like what I've applied it just helps all around make you produce less oil and it actually works for your benefit so what I do with this oil is a lot of times in the nighttime during the winter times I'll take a little bit of this oil and put it in areas where I experience more dryness I also take this oil and mix it in with my foundation so I honestly just love oil during this time. You can use it all over your body if you wanted to. It's definitely something that I feel like you need to incorporate into your skincare routine. Whether it's a face oil, this isn't like from Sephora or anything. This wasn't as expensive as an oil from Sephora, but it's the perfect type of oil because it's organic, it's vegan, it has no preservatives, it's like 100% cold pressed, and those are the qualities that you want to look for when you are buying an oil. Okay guys, so these were my favorites for the month of November. I know it was really, really quick, but I just wanted to film this video for you guys and get that up there show you guys what products I've been loving during this winter season especially products that are gonna help preserve your beautiful skin because as soon as your skin gets dry I don't know if you guys know this but it's gonna be my skincare video but when you have really dry skin that's what makes your skin age a lot faster so beautiful hydrated skin even in the winter is what we are looking for I hope you guys really enjoyed my favorites video if you have any other favorites or products you think I should check out please leave it in the comment section down below all my social media links are in the description box and if you feel like this video would be helpful to anybody make sure to share it and if not already please subscribe I love you guys so much I will talk to you guys in my next video don't ever forget you are so beautiful bye guys